everyone and welcome back to the sims 4 city living let's play on my channel it's phd simmer here welcome back uh sorry it's been a little while since i uploaded i think i missed last week's possibly even the week before i tend to upload this on a monday but uh, i thought i'd catch up and upload a part over this weekend so i played a few days off screen my original plan was to take the family to granite falls and have a bit of family time um and I had this whole storyline planned out where Cole was going to show up and then he and uh, uh, Kara were going to run off and get married in secret in Granite Falls. But it was just a complete disaster. Like, first of all, you can't... Inv I invited Cole to join. He didn't turn up. Um, and then I couldn't invite him again because it already sort of said he was on his way and he just never showed. And you can't get married when you're on holiday, when you're on vacation. So that's stupid. I can't believe you can't get married in Granite Falls. That just doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, I just disbanded that idea because I was getting too frustrated about it. So I've decided we're going to have a family meal out. We're just waiting for Ruben to get home from work. He should be home any second. And I just want to check everybody else else's needs um yeah josh is feeling fine i'm gonna get him to use the bathroom just want to check where we are with skills and stuff because i don't remember where we left off so josh is currently uh he's an a student so that's pretty good and he he's like level three of video gaming level three of fitness that's that's good he's obviously a bit of a gamer and a bit of an athletic sort of chap kara is uh level two out of four of master chef aspiration she is culinary level three and she has like level seven cooking level seven violin level six gourmet cooking she is she has really aced that emma wherever she is she's talking to whoa something's glitching out there she's chatting to billy jang which is weird because i've had this em, this outfit for emma for ages so it's strange that it's glitching um she is only oh she's level two or four of lady of the pack aspiration she needs to talk about clubs with another club member that should be fairly easy she's currently level five of the social media she is an internet personality and in terms of skills she has level seven guitar level six video game i didn't realize she was so high in video gaming so that's cool level five charisma level four comedy and a few other minor ones um and then we have nicole who's still a level eight of her career it's actually been really tough she's been on excellent for ages i don't know really why she's not moving up um into level nine and she is currently level three out of four of city native we need to master the singing skill and win a contest at geek con um geek con did come around whilst i was playing off screen but she she failed miserably she didn't win anything so we have level nine of painting level nine of cooking level eight of charisma level eight of singing so she's doing really well and finally ruben he already completed his aspiration of being a best-selling author and now he is doing the successful lineage but we're not really aiming to complete this uh but he's currently level one um and he's level nine of the arts critic career and he's done everything he needs to do. He, I don't think he's going to get promoted, but it would be awesome if he did. And in terms of skill, he has max writing now, which I think might have happened off screen. Um, but that's really, really cool. He is level six painting, level six piano and level three in some minor skills. And he's feeling crisp air from hiking. Oh, yeah, they went on a hike. But we are just going to wait for him to get home from work and then we're gonna perhaps go to a restaurant let's restore our, oh no don't remove no no restore restore this and restore this one um Kara's doing fine and so is emma so we're just literally waiting for rubin to arrive it did pop up to say he earned cash so i don't know, actually know where he is hopefully he's not gonna be too long and then we're going to go out for dinner for a family meal, which I think will be good for everybody. Take a brisk shower, Emma, if you've got time. Come on, Ruben, where are you? No, he's still at work, apparently. I guess he's going to be coming home. Oh, there he is. No, no, he wasn't. <laughs> uh, he is at work till 5pm, so he should be home any second. Let's just whiz through. Come on, Ruben. What are you doing? At work. Guess we could leave work early. But 
Oh, there we go. Rubian has come back home and earned 1,365 simoleons, which is awesome. Did he... Oh, he's so close to getting to level 10. He needs to just write a column. So let's kick this lady off. Ask to leave. I don't even know who she is or what she's doing in our house. And we will just really quickly write this column before we head out. What am I doing? She's going to go stretch. Okay. Do that if you want. Why don't you drink this? <laughs> He's like, goodbye. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I should get going now. Yes, you should definitely get going. And we just really, really super quickly write this column. Just to get that done. He's really, really quick at writing now because he's like level 10, so. He should be nearly done. There we go. Oh, no, that's Josh, level 4 of gaming skill. So, what's this say now? Shout forbidden words. No, don't do that. What, what are you stressed about? There we go. I think he did it. Yes, he did. So let's go out. I don't know why he's tense. In need of a break. You've just had a break. What's your problem? <laughs> We're going to... Um, I guess we don't want to go out on a date. We're going to travel. There we go. And we're going to take... Um, let's take the just our crew. I was going to see if we could invite maybe Josh's little crush. But uh, I think he just wants like a family time and get everybody back on track because... Um, you know, the family have got a little bit uh, disconnected in llama. So let's see what we've got. I actually don't know what restaurants we have. I guess they'll be in Newcrest. Um, got a lot of toddler things. Small Mexican restaurants or McDonald's. Okay, I guess we're going to the small Mexican restaurant. Okay, we have arrived at the small Mexican restaurant. Just have a look at everyone's ages. Ruben has seven days to he's an elder. This is crazy. Nicole has 12. I guess it's because she's been through some pregnancies and stuff. And Emma has 12 days till she's an adult. My gosh, we started this LP with Emma. This is quite scary how quickly time flies. Let's get Emma to go to the loo. And I guess we should... We kind of want this table, I'm afraid, my love. Ah, oh, damn. This is a big table. We kind of wanted that one. We're not going to fit everybody on this one. Um, let's quickly jump into build mode and maybe just put um, a couple more chairs on this table. And then they can sit where they like. So we're going to... Can we request this table? Yes, let's do that. Who is our server this evening? Where did he go? It is Caleb. Oh, lovely. <laughs> we have a vampire serving our tea tonight. <laughs> I think Emma would be like, hashtag vampire <laughs> on her social media. Let's see if she can do anything. If we can check in. Maybe I don't know if small Mexican restaurant is really like the hot place to be in town. But shout out from the small Mexican restaurant. Let's do it then. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice for the family to sit together. Oh, everybody's playing musical chairs as usual. Here's your table. Enjoy. We have gained 1,250 followers. Yes, she's got over 20,000 followers. That's pretty cool. I want everybody to sit together. Um, Sit together. There we go. No faffing around, please. No musical chairs. Just all sit together and enjoy some family time. Ruben, why aren't you sitting? Come and sit down, guys. I think we should probably... Oh, now Emma's getting up. I wish people would just sit where they got to sit. We're going to uh, order for the table. Let's get some food going. Oh, she still needs to use the toilet. What's wrong with you? Okay, we're getting Nicole to order for the table then, since she needs to use the bathroom. Let's get some food going. Okay, so we'll get some wine for the girls, I think. And we'll get a soda for Josh since he is not 
an adult yet. And we'll get hot and smoky for Ruben. And then for food, um, we're just going to go for main courses, I guess. Um, we get chicken stir fry for Cara and Emma. Uh, we get a quiche for mum. And the boys can have tacos. It's not the fanciest of restaurants, but there we go. And then I just want everybody to kind of fix their relationship. Let's just have a look how people are feeling about each other. So Nicole's pretty okay with Kara, actually. She doesn't know Josh that well. And where's Emma? Where's Emma? Is she even on this? Oh, yeah, she's really good friends with Emma. So she's good friends with Emma. Um, she is good friends with Kara and she's only friends with Josh so we should definitely get her to get to know her son a little bit more so we're going to tell him an inside joke and um no, we don't want to influence him to do anything we will compliment his outfit and have a deep conversation with him Emma is she gets on well with everybody, not so great with her dad, so let's get them to talk a little bit. And Kara's actually got a good relationship with her family, even though they've sort of had this spat, so that's really positive. It's nice to see them all together. Let's debate the existence of vampires with our dad. Like, there's one right over there, and you like, don't be silly. <laughs> Who's singing? Somebody singing happy birthday type thing, I guess. I don't know who it is. Weird. Emma, sit down. Sit and chat here, please. Who's our chef this evening, then? We have Vivian and... Kabir, okay, they seem trustworthy guys, hopefully. Oh, Emma, Kara's on her phone. This is not sociable, my love. She's probably texting Cole right now, be like, can't believe they dragged us out to this restaurant. <laughs> I might actually get her to text him secretly under the table to her disappear uh, disappearing <laughs> disapproving family. We're gonna um send him a text. She's like, waiting for my food. This is just so annoying. They haven't brought you up yet. He's like avoiding the um com avoiding the topic of conversation. You shouldn't really be singing, my love, in the middle of a restaurant. I hope our food shows up too soon. Let's get the call to talk to Josh a little bit more. Let's uh ask about his day. And I guess we should talk to Kara since that's the whole point of coming to this uh, restaurant. Let's compliment her outfit. And... Um... we we'll discuss gourmet food since she is all into her cooking and that sort of stuff. And... What are these guys talking about? Um, let's ask about her favourite author. <laughs> we need to decide what we can do about Emma and Akira as well. Like, he is obviously, I think he might even have a kid. He's definitely married or seeing somebody. So, where's our food, man? This is taking forever. Guys, we're going to complain if you don't hurry up. What is this you're prepping? Does it look like my food? I am not sure. Let's see if we've got the notification. Here's your table. Enjoy. Did we actually order food? We did, didn't we? So what's going on? Order for table. Let's do this again just to make sure we've got some dinner coming. So it's like nearly 10 p.m. I'm sure we definitely ordered the food. Where's Nicole going? Oh, she's going to the bathroom. That's fair enough. Right, let's try this again. We might end up with two dinners. I 
Okay, let's try. Yeah, where's our food? Josh is getting restless. Who's calling Ruben now? Uh, I heard that his ghost and I at the bar. No, Marco is so obsessed with us. He always asks out. Oh, he's really hungry. Wait for food. Okay. Sit here. Why don't you talk to your sister? Um, brag about your grades. Thank you. We'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. I don't remember seeing that last time. Oh, he's so hungry. Um, we can ask our sister about woohoo. How awkward. Um, let's uh, joke about politicians to Emma. I know our wife is a politician. <laughs> So like, all she does is give us, oh no, sorry darling, I thought you were in the toilet still. We're doing an impression. <laughs> Emma liked it anyway. Brighten her day. Zoe Patel, is it Zoe? Yeah. Oh no, she's a Lothario now, I forget. Oh, she was here with Don. They were on a little date. Who else have we got? Uh, oh, she's not really eating her dessert. They got a taco casserole. She's ordered pudding as well. Oh, these boys, what are you two up to? Little man date. Jeez, where is our food? Level 4 of charisma. There's some food here. Is this ours? Like, what's with the slow service? Oh, yes, an empty glass. Thank you so much. This better be our food. Yes, thank God for that. Huh. Only about three hours after we actually entered the restaurant. But they're all happy about it. They're all like, yay, food. Let's get this one of Nicole. She looks cute all sort of excited about her dinner. That's a really nice little picture of her, actually. Oh, good. So we can eat our food. Eat fish taco. Finally, we got to dinner at 11pm. <laughs> I really, really hope we're going to get some promotion soon, because I feel like we've been working very hard at our career and not getting anywhere, which is a bit annoying. I really want to get level 10. I feel like we're so close. The Shire. He's feeling very happy. I feel like the calm calm has been established in the house for the moment. Amongst the Drake family. Oh, uh, blazing drink. This drink was on fire and now it's in my mouth. Incredible. <laughs> Cara found that white nectar paired quite nicely with her meal. Mm, good choice. Good choice, if I don't say so myself. It's nice seeing them all together. I still can't get over how much Josh and Cara look alike. They, uh, Josh and Emma look alike. They've got exactly the same profiles. Cara's got a slightly less sharp nose. Josh is so cute, though. He turned out to be a very handsome little chap. I do want to uh, explore his little relationship with the girl next door, see if they've got, like, some chemistry. Okay, let's pay the bill. We're not going to wait for pudding. Uh-oh. We might... Oh, no. Ruby ate some meat. Oh, I always forget he's vegetarian. The restaurant hopes you enjoyed your meal. Simoleons have been deducted from your household funds. Cool. So I'm going to send everybody home. Wow, we got £50,000. Jeez. I think what I'm going to do is when I start City Living Series 2, I will have... Um, Josh and the uh, no, not, not Josh. Ruben and the Cole donate some money to their children's like first home. They're going to get their own apartment. Oh dear, you're being a bit naughty, young lady. Who are you, Hannah? Oh, it's Hannah Bennett. <laughs> She's making a right old mess outside this restaurant. Not a good idea, chick. Well, we're in the bushes. <laughs> Look at everyone so miserable. <laughs> I'll see you back in a second. Okie dokie, we are home. So, Ruben, you're not sleeping in your son's bed. What are you doing? Go to the bathroom and take a shower. Then you can get into your own bed where you belong. And Nicole's gone straight to bed. That's fine. Uh, what's Emma up to? Oh, Emma's being a bit zany. Cara to quickly use the bathroom before she goes to sleep. And... Josh, yeah, you can go in your own bed. <laughs> Not sharing with your dad. You're about 17. It's a bit awkward. Well, I don't know. Actually, how old the teens are? 15, 16, something like that. But yeah, I guess everybody's sleepy. So we're with through and I might join you back when... Well, we only got a few minutes left. So maybe I'll just join you back in the morning. Okay, it's morning and... Um, 
Nicole has gone off to work. Josh has gone off to school. And I'm going to get Emma to invite over Akira. Maybe we invite him out and we're just going to decide what we're going to do about him, basically. So, actually, we're going to invite him over. We're going to invite him to hang out at the current lot and see what he says. Maybe ask him about his significant other. I can't remember who he's seeing. Is it just Minda? I'm not 100% sure. Um, Kara's just practicing her violin skill. She doesn't think she needs to do for work. She hasn't got to go for like a few hours. And Ruben's just going to be writing a book, I think. Is he writing? Yeah, he's writing a screenplay, so it's cool. Emma, I think you should probably get changed um, into a different outfit if you've got your boy coming over. Are you okay, Emma? You seem to have frozen. Oh, that was like a formal wear. I'm not going to click that. There we go. Let's change into one of our everyday wears. Uh, actually, we put this red dress on because she looks nice in this, I think. And we see what Akira says. Uh-oh, have we got bills to pay? Uh-oh. It's probably for us, is it? How much will it be? How much will it be? We're okay for money, though, so I don't know why I'm too worried. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. What's up? Has she got to go to work? Oh no, she's changing her outfit. <laughs> there, okay, so we're going to invite him over. Yes, he will be right over. She's got a nice little red sort of skatery type dress on. So we're just going to wait for him. Oh, he was quick. Let's invite him in. Um, Give him a little hug. Are you okay? What's wrong? Why are you feeling tense? Let's tell him an engaging story. We're going to talk to him the whole way because I don't think our dad is going to approve if we're um, chatting up a local guy who's already in a relationship. Maybe he's stressed because of his relationship. Let's ask if he's single, find out if he's actually changed his status. He's about guitar solos. Hello, I'm contacting you on behalf of BeFit at Fiddle Co. We would like to send you some free sample of our newest product, earbuds. Uh, okay, we might as well. Why not? Let's see what he has to say. Oh, he's married to Penny. Oh, it's Penny. Yes, I remember. Let's ask about Penny. Um, friendly. Other Sims. Ask about... Do we know even know Penny to ask about her? Probably not, to be honest. I want to know how you feel about your wife. Oh gosh, we don't even know Penny. Oh dear. Okay, we can't then. Well, pff, if he's going to flirt with us, then that's his decision. Um, let's caress his cheek. Emma, you're so naughty. I hope he hasn't got kids. Um, romance. Let's... Oh, no. Uh... Give him a little flirt. See how he reacts. You're married! <gasps> Whisper seductively. He's totally up for it. Are gonna... Asked to be boyfriend? Oh gosh, I was totally against this and now I'm just like, it's a bit fun. <laughs> Let's ask if he'll be your boyfriend, if he will. I don't know, we could try and ask him to break up with Penny. Um, Let's... Oh, friendly. Can we do this? Let's have a look. Ask to leave, no. Uh, actions. Talk up another. I guess we could try and break him up. I don't know how we do this. Um, give him a kiss. We know he's married. We've asked him to be our boyfriend. You're awesome. Your day just got 100% more awesome. Uh oh. Our friend has just arrived. She's like, girl, what are you playing at? He's married. What are you doing? Billy, why have you come around with no shoes on as well? Like, um, this is a little bit awkward. We're going to go woohoo with our boyfriend. You'll just have to like hang around the apartment. 
<laughs> we're gonna go woohoo with Akira. Um, we'll get Kara to come and say hey to um to Billy, even though she's got no shoes on. <laughs> let's um let's have a little gossip with her. She'll be like, What's going on with your sister and that guy I saw her with? She'll be like, Oh my gosh, you don't even want to know. <laughs> and my family say I'm the trouble waker by dating um talk about drink making with her and discuss games with her we're gonna get some breakfast as well oh dear what are you up to am i naughty naughty girl he's married we need to like break them up i can't remember how you do this i don't know if it's a mean interaction or what we need to get to know penny Oh my gosh, she hates Cole. Jesus. Do we not know Penny at all? This is very surprising. I'm sure we must have bumped into her. Oh yeah, well, there we go. <gasps> invite to hang out at the current lot. <gasps> no, she's going to invite Penny over. I'm like, sorry, Gary, your boyfriend's with me now. Oh, is Penny going to come over? He's like, who are you talking to? Nobody. <gasps> Penny's even got his surname. Oh my gosh. Awkward. <laughs> Billy, hey, it's me. Do you want to hang out tonight? Um, you're in our house already. Unless she left. Did she leave? I think she might have left. <laughs> I'm going to woohoo again with Akira and hopefully Penny will show up just in time. She doesn't seem to be coming. No Penny? Damn, I wanted her to show up. Where's Penny? Come on, Penny. I don't think she's coming. In. Oh, gosh. There she is. Ooh, we're going to invite her in. She doesn't know. She just like heard the knock at the door and she's like, oh, hi. She's like, oh, I'm here to see Emma. Oh, OK. Yeah, she's in her room, I think. Awkward. Very, very awkward. Where are you going, Kara? You know, Byron. <gasps> She's gone downstairs. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Here we go, guys. Oh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> Let's get Kara to go to the bathroom and she can, like, do a bit of cooking because we know she loves to cook. Our girl. Let's serve some. Would have phobia LT since our dad is veggie. Oh gosh. <gasps> Penny, are you gonna find out? <gasps> oh no. Oh, he's gone to sleep. Crap. Okay, we're gonna go and talk to her. Where is she gone? <gasps> Did she leave? No, there she is. She's outside our room. Um, we're gonna give her a rude intro. But you thought you were the hot shit around town. But it's us now. Ruben's just like, I'm just going to like ignore what's going on here. There's too much drama in this household for my liking. He's going to go publish his book, actually. Sell to publisher. And then I'm going to get him to just play a game or something just to get his fun levels up. I'll play Sims forever. Tess, I'm starving. Want to grab lunch? No, Tess. Ooh, we've got some issues going on here. <gasps> oh, gosh. It's like, who do you think you are? You invite me around and then you start slating me. And she's like, well, I stole your boyfriend. <laughs> What's Akira doing? Okay. I'm going to um, call him over, I think. Can we do that? Ah. Uh... Convinced to leave spouse. Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's go do it. She's like, oh, what are you doing here? Why are you coming out of her bedroom? Um, we're going to give her a passionate kiss. Oh, this is awkward. This is so awkward. Please let this work out for Irma. Oh, the face on Penny. 
She's like, sorry, hun. <laughs> What's Penny's face all about? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, this these two sisters. Oh, she's cheering. What? That's your that's your boyfriend, and he just broke up with you for this younger lady, and you're cheering. What's up with you? But anyway, we convinced him to leave his wife. I really hope they don't have any kids. Oh gosh, what if they do? Um. Passionate kiss, that's what they do. Oh, oh, let's ask her to leave. Let's ask her to leave. Like, we don't need you here anymore. Goodbye. Oh, she's so angry. She's like, I think it would be best if you left. Oh, oh very um, awkward encounter. I should get going now. Bye. Yeah. Oh, look at that face. She's so angry. Um. There we go. So Emma is now with Akira and I'm overrunning all this part. So I think I'm going to end it there on that note. Um, I think these two will make a cute couple. I don't know if it's going to last. Maybe we'll find out in season two. Um, but for the moment, these two are together and he has left his girlfriend. I'm going to super duper quickly just pop into Manage Worlds and see if he does have any kids because that's going to cause even more tension if he does. Okay, so I guess he'll be in unplayed. And I assume he lives in Samwai Shuno, but who knows. Can't see. Oh, there they are. Let's see. <gasps> they do have a kid. Oh my gosh. Let's quickly jump into Chris him just to have a look. Oh, he's really cute. Trace, his name is. Yep, they've got a kid. They've got a toddler. Oh no, this is... We basically caused this little kid to have a broken home. I feel so guilty. <laughs> he's really cute. He's little, look at his little podge. He's so cute. Um. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this and decide if Emma feels she's ready to be a stepmom to a toddler. Oh dear, Emma, you broke up this family. That is so bad. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you can always drop comments and suggestions in any of my videos and I'll take those all on board please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next episode bye guys